Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So this is the third update for my Project 10 Pan. So I was hoping that I would have more products finished by this update, but I don't. There's two products that I'm super close on. I'll show you my progress on everything I'm working on, but hopefully by the next update, I will have a few more things finished. Before I start, I'll go quickly over the products I had finished for my previous updates. So for my first update, I had finished the Makeup Forever, the HD foundation. This is the old formula of their foundation. So I finished that up. And then from Too Faced, I had finished up the Absolutely Invisible Translucent Pressed Powder. Now the packaging has been broken for a while. Um, so I was happy to finish this up just because this was super hard. Like I couldn't put it in my purse, I couldn't travel with it. But anyway, that has been used up. And then my last update, I had finished up um, from NARS, the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, from Bobbi Brown, I'd finished up the Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the color Golden Pink. It's like a really pretty champagne -y color. Um, I finished up a mascara. This is the Lam Lancome Hypnos Drama, which I really like this uh, mascara. I've used it a few times before, like in the travel size. And I love the travel size mascaras because you can try a bunch of stuff. Uh, like Sephora, you can always get them as a promo code or, you know, 100 point perk, so you can get them for basically free. Um, and really, they la I think they last just as long as like a full size mascara. So, love trying out mascara samples. And then finally, I'd finished up the Buxom Full on Lip Polish in the color Sophia. So previously, I had finished up six items, and now I'll show you the progress with everything else I'm working on. So I have my, um, or I guess one of my primers. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in the light. Now they have their like original um, like formula. They have a lot of formulas of um, primers. I like the light because it's more a lotion-y primer. It's not a silicone-y primer. I just prefer it, especially with my like, like more acne prone skin. So I had marks like from my started, my first update, but the product really likes to ride up on the packaging or like get stuck to the pa um, packaging to the sides. So it's really hard for me to make a new mark, but I'm pretty close with it being finished. Um, but definitely you think I'll have to cut into the product once I can't get anything else. Like I once I can't squeeze anything out just to get the rest of it. But um, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this up um, like within the next three weeks, so it's three weeks to the end of the year, and I had said I was hoping to finish this project by the end of the year. I don't quite know if that will be possible. I'll probably be pretty close, but I don't know if I'll be quite finished yet. But we'll have to see by the next update if I have anything left with this. I might, it might be still holding on with a little bit of product, but we'll just have to see for this one. Um, then I have my other primer, my Benefit the Professional. So I use both primers together. So I put this one all over my face and then I just kind of put this one in areas where I have larger pores. I use it less like a primer, more like kind of a pore bomb, I would say. Um, so I have been using this every day, but again, it's just very slow moving just cause I use so little bit. So even though it's just a teeny little sample size, um, you know, it's slow going. So I don't know, know if I'll be able to finish this one by the next update, but you know, I still would just want to continue working on this consistently. Next I have my concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream Concealer. Um, now this one I thought possibly I could have finished up by this update, and there's barely anything left, but there is still product. Like every day I expect I'll be running out of it, but I'm still able to get product out I think that I'll be able to finish this in the next three weeks. I mean, there's barely anything left, um, but we'll just see. But hopefully this is one I have my fingers crossed that I'll be able to finish by the next update. Um, then I have my makeup setting spray, um, the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup, makeup Extender Setting Spray. I swear the names on some of these products are just so long, but anyway. This is the L'Oreal Makeup Setting Spray. Now, what I had been doing, or what I am doing with this product, is I have this, but I pour it into this little Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray container. Just because I like the sprayer on this better. You know, it's easier to travel with this, easier to pop on my makeup bag. Um, 
So previously, my previous updates, I still had products like had filled this up and then still had product left in here. At this point, I don't have any product left in here. So all that I have left is in here. Um, so I'll be able to better gauge my progress. At this point, the product is pretty much to the top of this. Um, and I'll just kind of have to see, especially over the next three weeks, it will be a good gauge of how much product, you know, I'm able to use and how quickly I'll be able to go through this. Um, I have been using this every day. I don't think I'll be able to get through this whole thing in three weeks, but you know, we'll just have to see about this one. Um, then I have my liner. This is the Mali, um, Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in the color Milk Chocolate. So that's what I have left. Um, definitely I don't go through liners that quickly. So this of everything I think will take me the longest to get through. But I can show you my progress a little bit better. I have a little post-it note with my progress marks. So you can see kind of where I started and then my um, other two updates. Definitely in the past three weeks I've used this the most compared to the other updates. But you can still tell, I mean, it's going to take me quite some time to actually use the rest of this up. But, you know, I have been enjoying this, you know, again, I don't use liner every day. Um, but um, this one is a pretty easy one to use. So I've been enjoying that. And then finally, I have my remaining lip product. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in the color Rosé. So this is all that I have left, so barely anything, and this should be used up in a few days even. Um, I just love this. I throw it in my purse. It's so easy, especially now that it's colder and, you know, my lips get drier. It's nice to have on hand. Um, again, you can see my progress, and definitely I've used the most in the past three weeks. But yeah, I just have this in my purse, and then I can take it out at work, and I can reapply it throughout the day. Um, um, this definitely should be used up really quickly. So I say by the next update, I'm hoping to have definitely this finish and also the concealer and I'll just have to see because the next update will be basically at the end of the year because there's only three more weeks left. Um, so I was hoping to have the project, this project finished by the end of the year. We'll have to see. I might not quite be there. Um, but I'll just have to see kind of what type of progress I can make in the next three weeks. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.